Hurt you. I don't even know what's going on. You don't need to point that thing at me. No, 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 no. There's no bullets. I got one of those dead bodies, but there's no bullets. I wouldn't try to shoot you or anything. Uh, my nails are too busy. Uh, to teach me how to shoot anyway. He wasn't exactly the outdoors type. He was all too busy in the lab. He wasn't, when I woke up, everything was, 
You don't need to keep pointing that thing at me. I'm not gonna do anything. You don't need to be afraid. I ain't afraid. I'm waiting. For what? For you to turn. I saw him bite you. Should have already started. You better bind that with something. They can smell it. Doc says they can smell the blood in your veins. Even with no hole in you. My name's Caleb. What's yours? I suppose I should probably just shoot you. To be safe. But if you ain't turned yet, Doc's gonna wanna see ya. More will come soon. You better come with me. Excuse me, where are we going exactly? Home. So you live with your parents? I don't have any parents. I don't have any family either. Well, I have my dad, but I can't find him. I never said I didn't have family. Oh, so there are adults where we're going. It's just, I have all these questions and it's just, things weren't, I don't know, it's, it's complicated. It's, I was just hoping to find someone to help me answer some questions. Or maybe you could help me answer some of them. Or I could just wait. Hey, wait up! Uh. Hey, wait up! It isn't one of them. Let's keep moving, though. One of them? But, uh, a kid. It's just one of the turn. They don't usually attack. Well, unless it's one of the crazy ones. Besides, they're slow. It's no big deal. Well, of course, if it's been turned recent, then one of the creatures is probably close by. Just saying. I sure don't know how you survived this long. You don't seem to know anything. How couldn't you have not seen one of the turn before? Or been someone's lunch by now? It hadn't been that long exactly. I think four years would be long enough to figure out what happens to humans bit by a dracon. Is that what you call that thing, a dracon? Well, that's what Doc calls them. She says it means dragon, but it also has something to do with the name of the virus that started everything five years ago. You do know about the virus, don't you? Of course. Everything everywhere was dying. It was horrible. My dad was trying to find a cure, but I guess he didn't. Well, Doc thinks the virus probably started mutating some of the sick into the Dracon a year after the outbreak. Not everyone agrees with him. Heck, half the people I know think they're aliens. But you said that Doc was a she. If your dad was really working on a cure, Doc's gonna wanna see you. Both of them. Damn. Would you look at the gear that kid's carrying for that guy? Shit, what is he? That guy's personal caddy or something? Dude looks really healthy and strong. Kid looks well fed too. He must have a stash somewhere. We should follow him. I got him dead. 
I'm taking them out. I want that gear. Get the gear. I want to find out where they're holed up. They're bound to be loaded. They lead us right to it. <laughs> what they could lead us to is a nest of trouble. And I doubt it's just the two of them. I'm not ready to gamble on what we can take now. Besides, I know what you really want is a chance to play with that kid. <laughs> You're a sick fuck. You know that? These days, a quick death's a blessing. That kid should thank me. You're welcome. Where's everyone else? Where are we? I told you. Home. Welcome to the encampment. Son, I love you very much. I love you too. I'm sorry it has to be this way, but I promise that I will come back for you. Don't be afraid. It's time. Just breathe. Just breathe. I know. But as you can see, he certainly isn't turned. It's been several hours. His blood work is unusual. Unusual? How exactly? I can't say exactly. I've told you not having the proper equipment is becoming problematic. I can only do so much with what I have. And what I have tells me that his blood just isn't normal. You're being awfully vague, Erica, and that isn't like you. What aren't you saying? Uh, excuse me. Was he bitten or not? I told you he was. I saw it. I'm not doubting you, Dimitri, but maybe the bite didn't really penetrate the skin. I bound the wound myself when he was brought to me. It was deep, very deep. Okay, so maybe a few of the creatures don't carry the pathogen necessary to cause the turning? It's possible, isn't it? You don't understand. When I said his blood was unusual, I meant it. Not only does he not have traces of the Draken pathogen that causes the turning, he doesn't have any traces of the original Draco progeria virus. None. That's not possible. Everyone who survived the initial outbreak carries at least some signs of the virus. Everyone. Thank you so much. 
There also appears to be, I don't know, something else in his blood. Or his blood is becoming something else. I honestly can't say for certain, but it may explain this. What the hell? How can it be healed already? Maybe it has something to do with my dad. He told me he was working on a cure and I shouldn't be afraid. And he was gonna make everything all right again. That we were safe in the hub because of the scientist and the academics and they wouldn't panic and become violent like the people in the outlying cities in the province. You came all the way from the hub? Something happened. People were yelling and the power grid was going in and out. Dad, he, he, he got the independent generator back on in the lab, but he was scared that the power's going to go out. But he told me, he told me he loved me and that he would come back for me. I didn't understand it. He gave me injection and wrapped me in a blanket and put me in a machine. What machine? It's this a really cool machine he had. He called it the Kralis machine. He went inside. And that's all I remember until I woke up. I went outside. Everything was different. I couldn't find my dad. Oh my God. It can't be, can it? He would have told us if he'd finished it. What is your father's name? Nicholas Drake. He's a scientist. Jesus. What? What is it? You're Caleb. That's the name he gave me. Caleb, do you know how old you are? Ten. It's supposed to be ten years old. Help me! Help me, please! Help me, please! Help me, please! Help me, please! Help me. Sophie, Help me. it's okay. Everything's okay, I promise. Not again. Hadn't she been giving her meds this evening? They're coming. They're coming. The baby told me why won't anybody listen to me? Because you're a disturbed little girl who's suffering from PTSD, who rants and raves about phantom lovers and talking fetuses. And frankly, it's exhausting. What are you thinking? Stop! <laughs> Lewis, generators are fine. I checked them myself this morning. Storage capacitors are at maximum. Sophie. 
I hear you, brother. No. Leave this one alone. His blood is different. Bring them both. Oh, Caleb. My name is Julian Delacroix. If you want to stay alive, the next time you hear from me, do exactly as I say. And you shouldn't reveal important information in this room. At least not while ZV is in it. His lab and the armory are fine. He figures that would be the very first thing he checked. Erica, be fair. He's just doing his job. You know how committed he is to his work. Our people should be first. We haven't even counted bodies. And he's counting bullets. We have wounded out there. Don't worry, Doc. I took care of that. Anyone hurt's been taken to the dorm. Under guard, of course. You know, just in case. I didn't. I didn't do it, but... It's true. He did not. There are several bodies on the outside. All in a similar condition. All dracon. It appears that someone has intervened on our behalf. Mr. Slade. Not now, Caleb. Who? Who could be capable of beheading a dracon without getting hurt? Or dead? Who would even be strong enough? Not even Ryder and his bunch are lunatic enough to fight Dracon without acid bullets. And even if they were, Ryder wouldn't help us unless there was something in it for him. Mr. Slate. Who knows? Who cares? Whoever did this saved our collective asses. Because Lewis's magic bullets are no. We were losing. I wonder why they attacked. They've never attacked us before. There's a reason why the attack suddenly came on us. Something must have brought him here. What about him? Me? Yes, you. He comes here and the next thing you know, the creature's on the inside. Two years, Slate. Two years we've held this place. And not one time had those things tried to get to us. Why now? It's it. Dracon said it came for Sophie. What? No. Oh, no. I told you I was running out. This was all I had, and now it's ruined. I need these medicines, Slade. Erica, I may have to wait a bit. What about our wounded? What about Sophie? I'll see what I can do. For now, take Sophie to the dorms with the others and treat them as best as you can. And if they turn, you know what has to be done. But I can't. Erica, no. This has been voted on. Put them to sleep and let the priest do the rest. Dimitri, try and scavenge any medical supplies you can find from the travel packs and give them to the dockyard. Night, take our guest to my room. 
Doubt I'll be getting any rest tonight. Wait, Mr. Slate. I have to tell you something. Not now, Caleb. So I have to wait until morning. But it's about those people. The ones that helped. The ones that talked to me. Okay. Talk. Well, uh... We can't talk here. Why? I said it wasn't wise to talk in here. Especially with... that in here. Caleb, you're starting to sound like Sophie off her medicine. Look, she's just gonna have to wait. Better have Erica take a look at or not. Go rest. Sunrise is only a few hours away. I'll talk to you then. Right after I apologize to my people for failing them. That's it, Caleb. Move closer. I don't understand any of this. Am I dreaming? You are. It is easier to communicate with the blood bonded when the conscious mind is at rest. Blood bonded? You and I share a connection. But I haven't time to explain that now. You and your friends are in danger, as you've seen. I need you to convince Slade to meet with me so we can discuss the future survivor of our people. I won't come to the camp again. He'll have to come to me. I can't. He won't believe this. I don't believe this. This is real, Caleb. I am real. And the danger is real. You must do this thing I ask. Tell Slade to meet with me. I can't. He'll think I'm crazy. What if they lock me up or something? They don't trust me, I know it. I can't. I won't. You do as I tell you, Caleb. The fate of your race and mine depends on it. Your race? You will convince him. Tell him. Tell him I said they didn't die. Tell him I said three years is a long time without music. Tell him there's still hope. Tell him these things and he'll believe. He'll be angry, but he will believe. What do you mean music? Who are they? And what do you mean by your race? It's time for you to go back now. No, I'm tired of being confused all the time. We'll talk later. No, damn it! Mess with Mr. Slade now? Wait up! Hey! Where is everyone? Cemetery. Oh. How many? Five. I'm sorry. Okay. 
If I find that you brought danger to this camp, if you hurt Slade in any way, I don't care who or what you are, or to your part, burning pieces myself. Is that clear? Nice! Nice! Stop! Let him go! What is wrong with you? Slade scheduled an exchange with Ryder for some medicine. He's waiting for you with the horses. No. I'll not leave this camp unguarded. Not with him in it. I'll watch him. It's either that or let Slade meet Ryder alone. No. Ryder can't be trusted. You have to come along. Knight! Don't! He's just a boy! It's complicated. Look, Slate has already said it was fine. Hmm. We'll see about that. Caleb, I'm sorry. All of this must be very difficult for you. You must try to understand, Slade and Knight have gone through a lot, trying to keep us all safe. I just don't understand why they think they gotta keep everyone safe from me. I didn't do anything, did I? No. It's just, it's so, it's so, it's so hard to think it's just because it hurts because I don't understand. What did my dad do? What am I? Caleb, maybe he did it to save you. Maybe he did it trying to save us all. I don't know yet. But we'll figure it out together. I promise you. Okay? Get your ass in the wagon. Let's go. Get in. Look, it's either we take the guy with us or forget the medicine for now. I know it doesn't look like it's Slade, but that guy, in many ways, is still just like a 10-year-old boy. Somehow, I don't think he is nearly as helpless as you seem to think. He never said he was helpless but clueless and scared. That's a different matter. I promise you, I'll watch out for the kid. Will you guys mind the store? We should be back before nightfall. I have everything under control. Tell Ryder he needs to fill that order for salt if he wants me to keep making bullets for him, because I'm sure as hell am not gonna keep dipping into our stock. We'll be back soon. Everything stays on lockdown until then. Come up. So let me get this straight. The people who showed up at camp last night were ninja vampires who saved us all by beheading the Dracon and then mysteriously disappeared once more in the night and their leader, this Julian De Delacroix, came to you in a dream and ordered you to invite me to his place for tea. Yeah. Well, no, he, he didn't exactly invite me for tea. And he called the Dracon a ZV. But that's about it. Uh, and did he say why he wanted to meet me? Not exactly. He's, he said that the fate of our two races depended on it. <laughs> Ninja vampire. Hmm. Yeah. What? What? What are you thinking? I'm thinking Erica was right. You're a ten-year-old boy. It's not funny. I'm serious. You're telling the truth. I saw what he was. 
told him. I told him you wouldn't believe me. He said to tell you something about them not being dead and three years is a long time without music. What does that mean exactly? Whoa! What did you say? What? What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> What'd I do? I warned you what I'd do. <laughs> Night, no! I'm all right! <laughs> hey, hey, I'm okay. J just stop, man. Sorry. When we get back to the encampment, we'll discuss this dream of yours farther. For now, just stay close and keep your mouth shut. Ryder's dangerous and so are his followers. But we need him. He controls the exchange. Say nothing. Do nothing. Come up! <laughs> Whoa, whoa. Stay in the wagon. Colonel. Flame. Imagine my surprise to hear you call for another exchange so close on the heels of the last. Did you forget something? You lost something. Either way shows carelessness and incompetence. Two very troublesome traits to discover in a leader. <laughs> What's this? You bring something new to trade? A strong, healthy looking recruit would be a fine addition. You know what I have for Trade Rider, what I came for. Let's get on with it, shall we? It's Colonel Ryder, Mr. Slade. We should maintain some semblance of protocol despite the less than formal circumstances. You'll find everything there. Well, I have no doubt of your integrity, Mr. Slade. None at all. Lice? You? Huh? No? You know, someday you're going to find an integrity and good intentions aren't quite enough to keep your people safe. Then you'll be coming to me for more than just supplies. When you do, don't worry. I'll be more than happy to lighten your burden by bringing your people into my flock. Well, Colonel, 
My people know how to contact you if they should ever feel the burning desire to join up under your caring and competent command. But until then, we'll muddle through as we successfully done for the past three years. But thank you. And just so you know, there won't be any more acid bullets for you and your people until you fill that last salt order. So you should be careful to make these last. Heard you got yourself a little pregnant girl in camp. What a strain. Must be on the poor thing, what with her condition and her PTSD. And now discovering your inability to keep the creatures from coming into your camp anytime they please. Life. Such a rare precious commodity these days. What a shame if a new one perished before it even began. Slade, how? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just go. What about the big guy? Take care of it. Come quick! Hey, what is it? What's wrong? It's Sophie. The baby's coming. The baby's coming. Now? The dogs are with her, but something's not right. Okay, it's okay, Dimitri. Get the medicine to her now. Caleb, put the horse away. Let's go! Damn it! Can you strap her down or something? Where's Lewis? He's with Dimitri in the lab. He doesn't need to see this. Don't preemies need incubators or something? This baby isn't premature. Sophie, stop it. Don't ask me how, but within a matter of two hours, Sophie went from being six months pregnant to full term. I know, impossible. What the hell else is new? The baby says it's safe to come out. She says you can help, but you can't give me anything. It's crowning. I can see it. She's coming, Sophie. I've got her. I've got her. Aren't baby supposed to cry or something? She's warm. She's breathing and her heart is beating. I don't 